South Korea is starting the next phase of its national vaccination campaign, taking reservations starting this evening for 16 and 17 year olds. Those appointments can be made online. The authorities have also announced how they'll enable people who got vaccinated in another country to prove their vaccination status when they need it to get into places here in Korea. Jae Won Jong reports. Starting Tuesday, teenagers aged 16 or 17 will be able to book vaccine appointments with their parents' consent. Like previous methods of reserving a slot, it will be done online starting 8 p.m. And beginning October 18th, those with reservations will begin getting the mRNA vaccine from Pfizer with a three-week interval between the first and second dose. Amid concerns over vaccine hesitancy, health authorities have urged parents and children to get the shot as soon as possible, saying the benefits far outweigh the risks. Especially teenagers with underlying conditions have more risks after catching COVID-19, so the government urges them to get vaccinated. For children between 12 and 15 years old, their booking window starts on October 18th, and their vaccination will kick off in November, and they also need parental consent. Bookings for booster shots also start on Tuesday. Over 60 of most medical workers will be eligible to reserve this third shot of the vaccine. Meanwhile, health authorities have come up with new ways for fully vaccinated people from overseas to show their proof of vaccination. A lot of people who have gotten their COVID-19 vaccines outside Korea have found it difficult to prove their inoculation status when visiting coffee shops and restaurants. And starting October 7th, those who come to Korea with a quarantine exemption document can register their information online using apps like Kuv and local health centers. This will help travelers inoculate abroad and U.S. soldiers stationed in Korea prove their vaccination status. However, it only applies to vaccines that are approved by the WHO. On Tuesday, 1,575 new COVID-19 infections were reported. Of them, all but 18 were locally transmitted and total caseload is now over 321,000. The daily tally was slightly less than the previous day because of fewer tests conducted over the three-day weekend. Authorities are concerned about holiday surge as more people travel around the country during the three-day holiday. Cheonjong, Arirang News.